Hello wifeys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michaela here and today we're going to be getting into the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation, the Major Skin Cream Foundation. I got it in the shade Tan 3. We're going to try it out. Um, I'm going to compare it to another foundation. I feel like it's kind of similar, but not really. Um, and we'll just talk through it and then um, I'm going to wear it for a couple of hours and check back in with you guys. So if you want to see how this foundation performs and my thoughts on it, then just keep on watching. get into it this is the patrick ta for face major skin cream foundation this comes with the cream and the um powder and i got it in the shade tan three so let's open it up this is how it looks the standard reflective my fingerprints are all over it packaging <laughs> um Let's see, let's open it up. And so this is how it looks. I have swatched it already. I think this is my shade, but we shall see. Um, and this is the, the powder at the top, and it does have that little glass thing right here that protects the cream from the powder. The only other foundation that I have that's like cream, a cream i guess is well this is actually they call it a balm the kevin aquan and this is like one of my favorites like i'm hitting pan on it you see that consistency i use like a a fluffy brush with this honestly just because like i like the way it distributes the color i use like this brush and i just swirl it around in there and i put it on um but this one I don't know the pan is different so maybe i need like a more not this kind of brush <laughs> like maybe i need a more stippling brush like this i usually don't use sponges um to apply my makeup i use brushes so i guess i'm gonna go in with this brush and just see how this applies I'm already primed I use the Fenty primer okay that's really creamy do we see that first swipe right there I have a pimple patch on because Clearly, I have a pimple. It's kind of misty. I don't like that. But it gets out everywhere. So let's do one swipe over here on my problematic um, side. They're both pretty problematic, but we see the we see the blemishes, right? So let's just swipe and see. It covers it pretty well. Like that's one swipe. Let's work it in. So. I would say this is like medium coverage, maybe not full. I'm putting this over my patch because I'm wearing the patch all day today. How do we feel about the color match? I feel like I did okay. My body's like getting darker for some reason. I don't know what's happening. My body went through a lot of changes this pregnancy. Like I'm smaller, um, darkening. It's just, <laughs> I'm morphing into a new woman. Like I don't know who this is, but this feels good. So this is how the foundation looks. It's very comfortable. It's not, um, what can I say? 
It's kind of shiny, but like not really. Not really. Hmm. We are back in concealed. I thought it'd be fun to just go ahead and use, um, where am I doing? Use the Patrick Ta products. So I'm gonna, I only have the bronzer, which is like contour on me. But I wanna see how well his products work with each other, you know? Cause like they should work pretty good considering. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush and just go into the contour. This is in the She's Chisel. He really needed an in-between shade for like people with my skin tone because this is a little cool and then the other one was just too light and it was just not the move. Foundation brush and just you know go over everything in there. I did concealer with the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Radiant Cream Concealer. This one, and then I'm actually yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my powder bronzer too. I'm gonna go in with the powder now. And just I hope this uh I hope the um powder takes away this this shine because I don't I don't really like the shine that I'm having right now. Because I'm an oily person. And if I start off shiny, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna be shiny if that makes sense. So I hope the powder really sets it in place. And I don't know, like, I really don't know if I was supposed to. This is apply cream foundation to moisturize skin, building to desired coverage. Apply tr translucent setting powder to the T-zone, to oil-prone areas, concentrating on the T-zone for best results. Apply the, apply using the brush. So is this like a setting powder or like a face powder? Apply translucent setting powder to the oil-prone areas. So I guess this doesn't set the whole face, huh? Am I done bronzing? I can't remember. Let's see. So I guess I'm supposed to just set my concealer? I don't really understand. And now let's go in with the um, Blush Duo and Do We Know Her? And he actually says that like you're supposed to apply the powder first and then the cream blush on top so we're going to do that method today as instructed so i'm going to go in with the powder first and then just apply it to my cheeks like so it's such a pretty color my nose and then let's go in with the cream so we're going to concentrate it in the it like picks up a lot Concentrate it in the T zone. Yeah, and then 
eye. Want to set the face. So that's smoothing. Is it bright enough for me? Not really. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just pick up a lot of powder and I'm just gonna go around my face and set my face in place. Okay, now this I like, I like it all over the face. Yes, I do. Cause everything still looks really good, but now it just looks airbrushed. So I like that. Don't like it as my setting powder. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go in with my preferred setting powder right now. So I'm gonna go do my preferred setting powder and my eyes and check back in in a minute i'm back and i'm set and then i used my jackie Ina um palette and i went in the crease with what is this ginger then i did edges and then i did lituation like on top and then in the inner corner i used soleil i love this palette just for simple like just pretty looks um now let's do lips real quick this is mac Chestnut, yep. I want a fall lip. I've been into the oranges and burgundies and stuff. So let's go in with, I can't remember mocha. Should we do mocha? Let's do mocha and see. I always end up mixing them anyway. I like mocha. I think I'm going to go in with Viva Glam 3. Just to like deepen it up. Yeah. Like that. But that made it kind of like, ugh, taupey. Let's see. You know. This is what we need. That's better. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. We're gonna do some check-ins to see how this foundation holds up throughout the day. Do I like, yeah, I like my lip. All right guys, final thoughts, let's wrap it up. Cause I have some sushi calling my name. Cooked sushi, of course, of course. As we can see, so I started getting ready around 8.30. I think it was like 8.30, 8.39-ish. It is now 11.56, so I've only had it on for like, a couple of hours as we can see my nose is shiny I'm sh I'm just shiny like it's a very <sighs> creamy it, it is a cream like it's it's not a there's a difference between this and the even the Kevin Aquan because like just looking at it like once I break into it you see the shine in the pan like it's just like a shiny creamy product and this balm is even just kind of like, it's moisturizing, but it's not, it's kind of dry. Like, if that makes sense. Like, it's just like, it's different. It's more dry. So, yeah, this is real creamy. Um, I think it's cute for um, people with dry skin, probably. And I think that this is going to be a great winter foundation. It's fall. I live in the south, so today was like 72 degrees. So like it's not hot 
the wind is breezy it's pleasant but it's still not like cold so i feel like this would look good in the winter time when i need more do more glow type of deal because yeah this is not like a summertime for oily skin type of foundation i'm just gonna go in with that powder and just re powder my face I like the powder it's very blurring it's a little dark for me for like to be like setting my concealer but as far as like an all-over face powder i feel like it's pretty good but yeah see good is new now she's revived i just don't like to be like super super shiny like after a couple of hours like i wasn't gone like i said very long and it's not very hot outside but all in all it's a good foundation I would save it for like a winter purchase, like for winter, uh, for win winter for for oily skin at least, to you know, and I feel like it played well with his other products. So, you know, look at me. I just can't help but do stuff when I sit here. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all like it, or if you plan on picking it up, because you know this the VIB sale is about to happen starting on October 28th. I honestly don't know when this review is gonna go live because I'm about to have a baby like in three days. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.